so I got Snapchat AI to choose my next read. Here is the photo of proof. And that read was The Silent Patient. Literally the next day after Snapchat told me that book, I didn't have it. And I went into the charity shop that I work at and they had it there and they didn't have it there before. So I thought that was kind of a weird moment. And I was very grateful for that because I only had to pay a pound for this. But I'm out of breath. Um, so yeah, I have already started this. I am on page 51. I was just seeing if I liked it first before delving into this video. I'm really enjoying it so far. Anita is creepy and I really feel like Theo is gonna break her. I feel like he's gonna break her. But yeah, it's just kind of building it up right now, giving a little bit of background. And now we've gotten through the background and I'm really, really intrigued to see where this goes. I don't know why I'm, ow, I don't know why I'm doing that so much. I'm going to read some later tonight. I have just uploaded a book unhaul video so if you want to go check that out you can. I am like super hyper right now. I don't even know why. I hope you enjoy the rest of this video. Don't worry I'm not going to be acting this crazy for the rest of it. Yeah, go check that video out if you want or continue this one. I don't mind. I will see you in the next clip. This, the next day, I have read way more of The Silent Patient. I'm on page 99. Um, I read some yesterday and I read some this morning and it's so good. I just wish there would be more of a plot, but the plot is kind of getting there because Kathy did something. Um, and I'm kind of annoyed at Kathy and I don't feel as bad for her now. So yeah, I do not like Kathy. I did like Kathy though, which was sad, but I kind of hate when a character you're already liking is doing something to make you not like them, but yeah, it's going good so far. However, I'm not going to be able to read too much more today because we're going shopping. Not book shopping, unfortunately, just normal shopping. I am, I'm actually not allowed to buy any more books right now. I have too many and I don't even have a book shelf. So definitely not allowed to buy any more books, but yeah, I don't know how much more I'll be able to read today and that is the update for now. Hi, so excuse the wet hair, but I have just had myself a little pampering session and it was so good. I smell amazing. I have had a really good day. We spent the whole entire day shopping, as I said earlier and it was a good shopping day. I bought myself some really cute dresses. If you want to see like a haul of everything I got, comment below. But it's not really book related so I don't know if it would really do very good for my channel. But oh my god my hair is crazy. Yeah when I got home I relaxed and I read because I needed to wind down and my phone isn't really helping me do that right now. So I have been annotating like crazy. I haven't annotated the first 50 pages, but everything else that I've read today is annotated like crazy. I mean, this is not a good example, but like it's super annotated and like I love it. Yeah, like this page right here, like this page is so annotated. And I love that. I don't use highlighter because it bleeds through the page and I don't like that. So yeah, I'm probably probably going to edit some of this and then do my teeth a bit later and then read some of this. So that's literally my plan for this evening. My plan for this evening is literally just to read. <laughs> okay, so it is the next day and I have read two chapters today but they were quite short so technically it was basically one chapter and then I just wasn't in the mood to read anything else so I didn't but he got hit around the head Theo got hit around the head he's fine which is why I'm including this because it wasn't too drastic and I like how we're finding out things as he's finding out things and I hate Kathy even more 
I really do think he's gonna break Alicia, otherwise there's literally like no point in this book. So yeah, I'm very excited to see that happen. He has gotten very angry a couple of times and he did lower down her um, drug dose so that was why she acted so crazy towards him the first time at least and the second time she was acting crazy like at the door <laughs> she was just banging on the door there's not really too much going on we're just we're basically just slowly finding out more things about Alicia like why she is the way she is how she got there and also finding out things about Kathy as well her being an actress, of course. So, yeah. And so we're reading Alicia's diaries, which is always fun. Don't know if they're real or not. Ever since reading Gone Girl, and there have been diary entries in perspective of some kind of psychopath, I, I just haven't been able to trust them since, because every time I just think of Amy. If you've read Gone Girl, you will know what I mean. If I keep reading as intensely as I am, reading like 50 to 60 pages a day, I'm definitely going to finish this book by the end of the week. Or at least that's the hope. And now I'm no longer time lapsing it because I feel like I'm going to react a little bit more in these next few pages. I don't think I annotate properly. I really don't. I literally just write my thoughts. Like earlier, I literally just wrote T because I, I thought T was going to happen and T is happening. So it's not good. But I don't even, this is her diary entry. I don't even know what anything in here is real, but it's something. And that counts. And I'm interested. I'm intrigued. I want to know what's happening. So I'm going to shut up and I'm going to keep reading. Bruh! What the hell? I hate Jean Felix. And according to the diary entries, I hate Jean Felix. Diary entry version of Jean Felix. I kind of hate him a little bit. He's, he's annoying. He's pissing me off. <laughs> Go away. Uh, there's been quite a few updates, but I don't really know what to say about any of them because I always forget about them. And then I look back on the video clips and I'm like, oh, that happened. So I'm really glad that I, I record because I'm reading it so fast that I just forget half of what happened. But we're finding out stuff about Alicia from her diaries and we're finding out about Felix, whatever his name is, Jean Felix, which I've already said I hate him. According to the diary entries, I literally hate him so much. And, the, and Gabriel, there's literally, like, so far, there's literally nothing wrong with Gabriel. And I literally do not understand why she killed him. And we're, like, 170 pages in. I'm really annoyed about it. Like, I just want to know. But um, as much as I want to know, I'm going to take a break from reading now. Because otherwise I'll be in a book club after I've read this because I've read it too quickly too quickly but I'm really hoping I can read at least like five books in August because um I'm not a very fast reader so I never read that many books in a month but hopefully I'll be able to read at least five today today <laughs> not today <laughs> although reading five books in one day would be great but I would rather read five books in a month than three books in a month but reading three books a month is still good though because it just depends like what your reading pace is but I would like to be reading more than that I can't believe I said five books in a day oh my god <laughs> hi so I didn't film yesterday because I was just really tired when I got home from work so I was just like no nah, I'm not filming but I did read and I read up to page 200 and now I'm on page 
52 and I read 51 pages already today. I'm hoping I can finish this book today or tomorrow because I'm super hooked. And I've gotten to part of the plot twist but I wasn't wowed by it. I wasn't majorly surprised. I was just kind of like eh. Like I read it and I was like ooh. But I wasn't like wow oh my god did not expect that whatsoever. Which is kind of annoying because I want to be wowed, I want to be amazed but I just haven't been yet so don't see me. It's good, it's a page turner though, like I am literally flying through this as you can tell by reading 50 pages and hoping to finish it today and this is why I think it's going to be like a four star read because even though I wasn't wowed by the plot twist I still like the overall story and I like the characters so it and it wasn't like I wasn't dreading reading it like I wasn't procrastinating picking it up I look at this book and I get excited to read it so yeah it's definitely like four stars and because there are so many short chapters it's like really easy to fly through and I'm really enjoying it and I want to find out more about Alicia. Like Alicia is a really interesting character. For a character that doesn't talk, she's really interesting. So yeah, I am looking forward to finishing this. The characters in the book all think that Theo is in love with Alicia, but as a reader I see him as more obsessed with Alicia, which is in many ways worse than being in love with her but it's still awful being in love with her because it's just like <laughs> you're in love with a supposed serial killer <laughs> well not serial killer but she's a murderer either way maybe maybe she's a murderer who knows who knows <sighs> something just happened and i have to keep reading and i literally like Oh my god, I literally have to keep reading. I cannot put this down. Oh my god. <laughs> I finished the book and loved it. The ending was written well. It was so good. And I would just overall highly recommend it. I did not expect that ending whatsoever. I'm still trying to wrap my head around it. But on Goodreads, I put it as a four-star read, which it definitely, definitely was. And I would just, overall, I would recommend it. So if you've been thinking about buying it and reading it, this is your sign to do that. So, yeah, I'm going to end the video here. It's a good book. I loved it. I My jaw dropped. To the floor and yeah I will see you in the next one.